Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about holiday makeup. So let's think about the parties that are coming up and New Year's Eve and let's get ready to really sparkle. So I washed my face and to start off with I'm going to use a serum. This one's from Collagenesis and the brand name is Skin, S-K-I-N-N. -N. I get it on evine.com or you can get it at skin.com or you can use any kind of facial serum that you like if you need one to kind of plump up your skin. And we want to think about looking as moist and radiant as we can. This is an eye serum from the same line, does the same thing, kind of plumps out that eye area. And then I'll also use a lip serum to kind of smooth the lines around my mouth. So that's what I do to kind of start off, no matter what kind of makeup I'm applying. And today I'm going to use this uh, makeup that has illumination in it. It's called Bright Enlightened Radiance from Skin. And it just has a little bit of shimmer to it, not a lot, but it's very uh, soothing, very moisturizing, and then it also gives you just a little extra glow. So I feel like it's sort of like a primer and a moisturizer all in one, which is fun and easy and saves me a step. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put on some concealer and I'm going to use it, I have to kind of scooch up a little bit, sorry, to see right under my eye where I have a little um, broken capillary and I have one above my eye also. So put on any concealer that you need. I like um, Signature Club A makeup, and I get it at um, hsn.com. And as you can see, I'm just kind of putting it all over my face in sort of strokes that go every which way. This is the best makeup that I've found to plump out my skin. So if you don't need that, or you have a makeup that you're really fond of, of course, use what is best for you. So I'm just going to smooth this in with my fingertips. And I'm not putting on a super thick coat because I want some of that radiance to come through from my moisturizer. And I'm actually going to add to it later with a sort of a powder that has a little bit of illumination as well. Okay, so I've done my foundation. Now I'm going to add a little blush, and this is from Skin. I'm going to put some on each apple of my cheeks, and I'm going to put it on twice because I want a more dramatic look. The nice thing about holidays and New Year's Eve in particular is you're usually in a dimly lit room or at a candlelit restaurant, and you can wear a little more makeup and it's very forgiving light. So next I'm going to move on to my lips. This is called the Lip Lock Duo. It's from Skin. It has a liner on one end and on the other side a lipstick. So there's my liner and this one is in Berry. There we go. So that's a little darker shade than I wear most of the time, but I like it for the holidays. I am going to soften it, however, with a gloss. This is from Borghese. I get this on evine.com too. And that gives me a little pearlized glimmer and a little more shine. Okay. So, now I put on my blush, I put on my lipstick and my foundation. Now I'm going to use um, a compact called Candle Lit, and, or Candlelight, excuse me. So it's just a plain black one from Skin. But you can see it has sort of a, well, kind of a creamy sheer color with a little bit of crushed pearl. And it's not shiny, but it adds a tiny bit of glow. So I put that everywhere. And I love that 
for festive times. Now we're going to do the eyes. So to start off with, I'm using this pencil from YBF and I just put it in really lightly on both sides to fill in and then I use the brush. And that kind of makes everything look a little better. There, clean it up a little bit. And next, I'm going to start with my bottom lashes because that sometimes is a little bit harder for me and it needs more um, time to dry before I put the top ones on. So I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to move on to my eyeliner, which is kind of a thick black liner from Skin. And I'm going to just take it under, using more than I normally would, because it's a holiday. And then do the top. If you like to use a liner on your waterline, go ahead. That makes me uh, break out. And it's really itchy and uncomfortable for me, so I just use my liner above and below my eyes. And then I like to, this is a Borghese palette, and I got it on Evine. I like to um, go along with the powder to kind of smooth and smudge the line. And whatever color line, I just usually use a matching powder shadow to go over. And it kind of makes everything softer for me. It makes it last longer too. There we go. Next, I'm going to use the white color or the silvery white color and do all over my eyelid. And I'm going to do it twice so I really have a saturation of color because I want that white to really pop. There we go. And then I'm going to use oops, this one, a shimmery gray. And I'm going to take that from the outer corners inward for that kind of smoky effect. So that wasn't too tough, but you can see it's a much more dramatic look just because of the colors that I chose since they're darker than I usually use. Alrighty, now for the last step, mascara. I'm going to put a lot on because I'm terrible at putting on false lashes. I just cannot do it. So I'm using Skin Mascara from Evine. Um, it works pretty well for me. Obviously, it's not going to work as well as a set of false lashes. You can get those for holidays and they're great. I just have no luck with them at all. So I'm going to settle for a lot of mascara. All right, there we go. So that's the makeup part. I have on my jewelry to add a little extra sparkle and I'm going to fix my hair. I'm going to um, do a little sort of a bun with my scrunchie here and make it kind of tight because I'm going to add some fake hair also. I have a two-part one. I got it from Evine from Tony Bratton. And you just put the longer one on the bottom. Well, actually, you can do it on the top if you want. You can do it any way you want. And then the shorter one, you can see there's a little hole. You just pop that over and you can double it up. I just do it single. And I just kind of purposely make it messy and pull out some of my hair. And there we go. Happy New Year. See you next time.